Well, in the year 2000, um, I think I'll probably be in the spaceship to the moon dictating robots to robots, or else I may be, I don't know, having a, in charge of a robot court, judging some robots, or I may be at the funeral of a computer, or if something's gone wrong with their nuclear bombs, I may be sort of coming back from hunting in a cave. Well, I don't like the idea of sort of getting out and finding you've got a cabbage pill to eat for breakfast or something. Oh, I think, um, well, all these atomic bombs will be dropping around the place. And it was, one will get near the centre, because it will sort of make a huge, great big crater. And then the whole world will just melt, and the world will become one vast atomic explosion. And it will become like a supernova, stars. Some madman will get the atomic bomb and um, just blow the world into oblivion. There's nothing you can do to stop it. The more people get bombs, the more... Well, somebody's going to use it one day. Well, I think that it'll be so, it'll be so overpopulated that there will be wars, all nuclear explosions and everything. It'll make the Earth, you know, too much radiation on it. It'll become too hot to live on. I think that there'll be no life at all, really, on, on the Earth. I don't think there is going to be atomic warfare, but I think that there is going to be all this automation. People are going to be out of work and a great population. And I think something has to be done about it. I, that's, if I wasn't a biologist, I, that's what I'd like to do, um, to do something about the, the uh, population problem. Try and, try and sort of um, temper it somehow. I don't know how. I think it'll be very dull and people would all be squashed together so much there won't be any fun or anything. And people will be rationed to the amount of things they can have because if they had too many things it would just squash their houses and there they just wouldn't be room for them. I think it'll be, uh, um, people will be regarded more as statistics and as actual people. I don't think it's going to be so nice. I think sort of all machines everywhere, everyone doing everything for you, you know, you'll get all bored and I don't think it'll be so nice. I think it's going to be very boring and everything will be the same. I mean, people will be the same and things will be the same. I... First of all, those computers are taking over now. Computers and automation. And in the year 2000, there just won't, won't be enough jobs to go around. And the only jobs there will be will pe be for people with high HQ, you know, high IQ who can work computers and such things. And other people are just not going to have jobs. There just aren't going to be jobs for them to have. I expect they will set aside parts of the country solely for recreation uh, and have large blocks of built up areas. And I think these are going to be very ugly indeed, probably. No, I don't think I'll still be on Earth. I think I'll be under the sea. I think the population will have gone up so much that um, either everyone will be living in sort of big domes on the Sahara or they'll be under the sea. There'll be so many people that they'll have to have an overflow into the sea. And so there'll be houses underneath the sea and houses above the sea. They're not going to have so many square houses, you know, with more curves and artistic designs instead of a, like just sort of boxes that, like they've got nowadays. People can't live in, wouldn't be able to live in ordinary houses because that would take up too much room. It'd have to be in flats, piled on top of one another, like that. And the houses would be rather small and um, everything would be um, cramped up, very cramped. Animals as they have here. Uh, sheep and cows and livestock, but they'll be kept in batteries. Uh, they won't be allowed to graze on pastures. They'll be kept in buildings all together, all in one big building and artificially reared so they'll yield a larger, be bigger and give more food. All the Sputniks and everything that are going up uh, is sort of interferes with the weather and I think the sea may rise and um, will uh, sort of cover some of England. And there'll be just islands left from like um, only the highlands in Scotland and some of the big hills in England and Wales. I don't think 
all England to be wiped out because some of it will be uh, too high. I think the sea will rise to about 300 to 600 feet. It might freeze because the sun, I think, will probably burn out. And there's an ice cap coming down from North Pole. I think it will cover the earth. It might have another ice age. And I don't think there's anything to be frightened of. And a lot of people think it's going to explode, but I'm certain it won't. And I think it'll be much more efficient. Um, because there'll be more cures for the diseases and not so many people will get sick. And the black people, you know, won't be sort of separate. They'll be all mixed in with the white people. And, um, you know, the poor people and rich people will become the same. Well, they will be poor and rich, but they won't sort of look down on each other. I'm not looking forward to living in that year, about 50 years' time. I mean, the world seems to be in such a terrible state now, let alone 50 years' time.